Well, we've all seen the movie The Matrix. And then you begin to wonder, computer games are getting so realistic that maybe these avatars are real. And then to take it one step even farther than that, let's say that this person who hits the play button mm -hmm. starting this video game has a dream. And we are the dream. And so cosmic consciousness then determines the existence of reality itself. What lies outside of our universe? This question has been comprehended by many that came before us and probably many that will come after us. It's so vast that scientists still have not been able to measure the complete diameter of the observable universe. And that doesn't even include the unobservable part yet. That's right. And so we have to realize that the ancient philosophers got some of these things right. Materialism, the idea that we're just atoms, that that's all we are, is limited. What is the observable universe? The observable universe refers to the part of the universe that we can observe and study through telescopes and other instruments. It is limited by the fact that light, the primary way we gather information about the universe, can only travel at a finite speed. This means that we can only observe objects and events that are within a certain distance of us, and we cannot directly observe objects or events that are too far away or that occurred too long ago. The size of the observable universe is estimated to be around 93 billion light years in diameter, which is much larger than the estimated size of the entire universe, which is thought to be around 13.8 billion years old. This is because the expansion of the universe has caused objects that were once close to each other to move farther apart, and the light from these objects has taken longer to reach us. Overall, the observable universe is a vast and fascinating place, and there is still much that we do not know about it. However, using telescopes such as NASA's James Webb Telescope and other scientific instruments, we continue to learn more about the structure, composition and history of the universe and its various phenomena. What lies at the edge of the observable universe? If the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it be 93 billion light years across? And why is it that we know so little about what lies outside the universe? Well, to reach the edge of the observable universe, we need to develop some methods of transportation, which allows us to either transcend space-time itself by using warp drive or wormholes, which have long been debated upon by scientists who believe these are simply impossible, or to travel faster than the speed of light itself. A question of whether both of these are possible or not is highly contested, and even if it were possible, it would require technology and machinery outside the scope of current human intelligence. The theory of cosmic inflation states that the size of the entire universe is at least 10 raised to the power of 23 times bigger than that of the observable universe. This is such a big number that it is simply incomprehensible for humans. Because we cannot see or measure the unobservable part of the universe, we have no possible way of knowing what lies beyond its bounds. But that doesn't mean that we can't formulate theories based on the information we do have from distant galaxies. And NASA has a huge part to play in this. What did NASA detect? NASA, along with other space agencies and research institutions around the world, has made many significant contributions to our understanding of the universe over the years. Before the James Webb Telescope became functional this year, NASA had already released pictures of the ultra-deep field using Hubble, the telescope that was used before James Webb came out with new images of the universe. When the James Webb Telescope first came out, it was used to peek at the most distant galaxy that has ever been seen. The images showed many galaxies glimmering in the distant cosmos, which seemed to be just as they appeared a few million years after the Big Bang happened, almost 13.8 billion years ago. The expansion of the cosmos enables the stretching of light to redder wavelengths, and this enables the James Webb Telescope to detect infrared light exposing galaxies that were formed very early in the history of the universe. Since the James Webb Telescope has observed many distant galaxy fields, scientists began to study the rate at which stars form in the early universe. 
This study led to the conclusion that 44 previously unknown galaxies, which dated back as far as 300 million years of the Big Bang, had just surfaced in the image, and this is without counting the 11 that have been known previously. These insights revealed that a significant population of galaxies formed stars in the early universe, and this is where it gets really terrifying. For a long time, humans have contemplated whether we are alone in this universe, and these new findings within the observable universe have led us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable part of the universe. Are there aliens out there? The probability that there is life in the universe beyond Earth has never been so compelling. So the question of what lies beyond the universe may have a very simple answer, that of aliens. There are many planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, that have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial velocity method. Some of these exoplanets may be similar to Earth and could potentially support life. This theory was further supported by another one of the James Webb Telescope findings regarding the exoplanet WASP 96b. This is a planet that rests outside of our solar system and presents a spectrum of light. And, you wouldn't believe this part, the highlights contained within the spectrum indicated the presence of water molecules on this planet. In addition, the spectrum also showed evidence of haze and clouds which were previously known to not exist on this planet. With such habitable environments found out there in the universe, it is hard to rule out the matter of alien existence beyond the scope of our own planet. What about the multiverse? Since the observable universe is so vast, the possibilities of it are endless. The concept of a multiverse, also known as the many-worlds interpretation, is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests the presence of multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The idea of a multiverse is often discussed in the context of quantum physics, which is the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of tiny particles, such as atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, the act of observation can cause a quantum system to collapse into a single state. But in the many worlds interpretation, the act of observation simply causes the system to split into multiple states, each representing a different outcome. The idea of a multiverse is still highly speculative and is not yet supported by conclusive evidence. So, it is difficult to say with certainty whether or not it is a valid concept. Some scientists and philosophers find the idea of a multiverse to be intriguing and potentially useful for explaining certain phenomena, while others are skeptical of its validity. But since we don't know what lies outside of the universe, the possibility of the existence of a multiverse is still as valid as Schrodinger's cat. Does dark flow exist outside the universe? Now, this question is quite complex. The dark flow is a phenomenon that was first proposed in 2008 as a possible explanation for the observation that certain galaxy clusters seem to be moving faster than expected, given the desired distribution of the matter in the universe. The concept of dark flow suggests that these galaxy clusters may be being influenced by some unseen or dark matter or energy that is pulling them in a particular direction. But the existence of the dark flow is still somewhat controversial and is not yet widely accepted by the scientific community. Some studies have suggested that the dark flow may be real and could be caused by the presence of a large, massive structure in the universe that is pulling these galaxy clusters towards it. Other studies have been unable to confirm the existence of the dark flow and have suggested that the observed motion of the galaxy clusters may be due to other factors, such as systematic errors in the measurements. As far as its existence goes, the dark flow may very well be present outside the observable universe. The terrifying phenomenon of black holes A black hole is a region of space where the gravitational force is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Black holes can be formed when a star collapses at the end of its life, and they can range in size from a few times the mass of the Sun 
to millions or billions of times the mass of the Sun. The probability that there is a black hole in the unobservable universe is difficult to determine, as the concept of the unobservable universe refers to the parts of the universe that are beyond the limits of our current ability to observe. While it is likely that there are many black holes throughout the universe, it is not currently possible to say with certainty whether or not there are black holes in the unobservable universe or to estimate their numbers or characteristics. But there is a chance that they might already be out there in the expanse known to us as the unobservable universe. Does dark matter exist out there? Now this is one term you must have heard of before as well. Dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter that is thought to make up approximately 85% of matter in the universe. But why is it called dark? Dark matter is called dark because it does not interact with light in the same way that normal matter does and therefore it is difficult to detect directly using telescopes or other instruments that rely on the detection of light. However, the existence of dark matter is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter and the way it bends light from distant objects. While the existence of dark matter is widely accepted by the scientific community, it is still not fully understood and its nature remains a mystery. It is not known what dark matter is made of or how it behaves and there are many different theories about its possible properties. Some scientists believe that dark matter may be made up of particles that have not been observed. At the end of the day, it is yet another mystery that may be solved if we look beyond the boundaries of the observable universe. Finally, NASA holds the key to the future. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to observe the most distant objects in the universe as well as provide images and spectra of objects in our own solar system. It is expected to be capable of studying the atmosphere of exoplanets and may provide insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies and stars. The JWST is still in the process of being launched and commissioned and it has not yet made any scientific observations. Once it becomes operational, it is expected to make many important contributions to our understanding of the universe and it may potentially discover new and unexpected phenomena that challenge our current understanding of the cosmos. It is therefore the key to discoveries outside of the universe and we may see them sooner than we thought thanks to this machine. Other new technologies or scientific advances may also be developed in the future that will allow us to observe more distant objects or events, but it is difficult to say when or if this will happen. In the meantime, scientists and researchers continue to study the observable universe in order to learn more about its structure, composition and history and to better understand the laws of physics that govern it. Until then, we will continue to be terrified of the unknown out there.